KT7 up here. Today I will review, break down and showcase my strike teams. I have been running strike teams in the past few months. The results were great. I might be one of the first group of players ran a full strike team in competitive settings. The reason why it took so long for this video is because I saw a trend. More and more of the newer units have high strike resistance. And I wanted to get some experience fighting these units before giving my thoughts. At the end of the video I will go over the results against these newer units, my thoughts on how strike teams are holding up after 3 months, and how you can beat them. Give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos of showcase and review for upcoming units. Let's start by looking at what you need to run a full strike team. A full strike team will not be possible without the FMA units and VCs. On the left, we have the more popular units. Perene and Alphonse are the pillars of strike teams, they are irreplaceable. The third spot is really situational or personal preference. Perene is the main DPS. She has super high speed, multiple ways to CT up and can self haste. Her speed is usually around 120 without speed trust stones. Alphonse, the main tank. He does everything you want from a tank plus some decent damage. His elemental chain damage reduced buff is adds to his survivability. Edward. He is a straight up DPS. His damage is on par with Perene if not higher. He has very high defense penetration and pretty good speed. Also, he has magic resist in his sub. Could come in handy when going up against heavy magic. Snow is my sub tank sub DPS. I ran Snow, Alphonse and Perene together the majority of the time. Having another hate unit on the team helps Perene survive longer. When Alphonse runs out of hate the enemy will go after Snow. But he is having a hard time keeping up in the 140 meta and so much fire units running around. I hope his 140 will give him more damage. These four all have sure hit attacks, so I don't have to worry about accuracy. They are also the ones I have most experience with. Ural, Tifa and Raldor are all good but they are not my top choices. Next, let's go over the VCs. This is how I pair them. From left to right. The first pair. We have the free FMA VC, gives 50% attack up and has plus 2 speed in the stat. Be sure to max it. Having speed in the stat can help adjusting the speed of the units. Great great VC. Beyond the flames, as a sub it gives human killer 15 and missile resist 10. The second pair. From the east to horn. This is currently featured in global. If you want to run a full strike team, you might want to pick it up. This is a must-have because of the 20 AoE resistance as a main. It also have 24 missile resist. In the sub slot, we have the Zoma's VC. This is also very important since it gives 8% speed and 12 slash resist. If you miss this one, you can replace it with either Black Rose or Ramza VC. Now, the last pair. In the main, we have the Gacha FMA VC. Also a must-have for strike teams. Speed up a whopping 18%, single target resist 16 and strike attack up 35. So good. In the sub slot, the inherited wills VC. HP 20%, strike attack up 14, reaction block 34 and has plus 1 speed and stat. From these 6 VCs. The party gets 20 AoE resist, 16 single target resist, missile resist 35, slash resist 12 and plus 26% speed. Not counting the bestowed. This is the essences of strike teams. Speed and bulk. The two SR units at the bottom left are the units I run in the limited cost settings. They are meant to help against magic teams. Leela for silence, and Naya to heal and cast reflect. These are the teams I mostly run. Team A with Edward. High power and speed with Sorrow's TMR. Mainly to counter Bradley led Earth teams. Magic resist could be useful in certain situations. Team B with Snow. 
I would say, this is the most fun strike team I had run. It is so cool to see enemy runs over to Snow leaving my Alphonse and Perrine halfway through the fight. Snow really needs his 140 quick. Team C with Leela. I had so much success with this team in the last class match. Magic damage is the kryptonite of strike and Leela just silenced them. I smile every time I see it happens. She can also provide keen blade support. Team D with Naya. Heal support and her reflect could be the game changer. But it is a bit hard to get it off. But when it works, it really works. Let's show a few fights, from pickup, class match, arena and mock battle. In the meantime, I will go over the pros and cons of strike teams. First, we have a fight from previous pickup match. Here are some pros of running a strike team. It does not have a true elemental counter, as you can see here. My snow has no fear. And in pickup and guild battle, you can really throw your opponent off. Strike damage is just hard to defend against. As of right now, in JP, there still isn't a very good way to gear for strike defense. Snow tank that like a champ. Next up, we have a hyper evasive Yuffie. Let's see if a strike team with Edward can take her down. Another big plus for strike team is, all top strike units have sure hit attacks. In the case here, we just have to survive until Yuffie's sure hit evade buff wears off. Look at how Alphonse is tanking everything here. Elemental chain, slash chain, no problem. That's another pro of strike teams. Very bulky and hard to take down. Having multiple 100% hit attacks on the team is nice against evasion. Fire evade, no problem. The next fight is from yesterday's class match. Going up against Fire Magic. Let's see if Leela can do her job. Class match ranking reset couple months ago. I was at rank 50-ish during this fight. At 122 speed, my Purine usually is the first to move. Having two speed VCs and one being at 18% is a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. 
なやつか楽しみのバンタン援護します準備バンタン清き水の流れよ When I saw my opponent has Kepka, I was kind of concerned. His LB can confuse at a high rate. Even I have confused resist on my trust stones, I don't think it will help. All right, Leela. Silence them. That high speed on Purine is really paying off here. Laps Kepka. This is what I mean with two hate units. The AI will target Leela first. Leaving my Purine alone. Thank you Leela. You have done your job. Up next is our last fight. A mock battle against one of the newer units, Figa. He is one of those units that have high strike resistance. Let's talk about some cons of strike teams. The weakness of strike team is magic, we are currently moving towards a magic meta in JP. So I foresee, my strike team will need to take a break. Obviously, with three different element units, there is no elemental chaining, and most of their attacks have shorter range. Even though, I haven't had any problems fighting missile teams so far. But all it takes is one strong magic based long range unit, it could be trouble for strike teams. The current VCs available for strike teams do not support any good healers. I don't know if the devs have plans to release more than 6 VCs for a particular weapon type. If they don't, the best source of healing support might be Chakra and Revive for Monk. But Monk has the attacker AI. Not sure if that would be good enough. The main reason why I like to run Snow over Edward. Because Edward usually goes down very quickly. Even though Snow does not do as much damage, he could last longer with high natural bulk, courage, and self-heal. Resnick did not have to heal once. And GG for strike team. Finally, to beat strike teams, go with heavy magic or any combination of these units. 
light and ice are especially effective against strike. Overall, I think strike teams are holding up very well. Especially, in blind matchups such as Guild Wars and Pickup. I feel comfortable recommending it. If you want to run it, be sure not to miss out on the FMA collaboration. That's all I have for today. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching till the end, I know this is a long one. Subscribe if you want to see showcase of upcoming units. And have a good one.